This is unexpected, but some stuff has actually leaked in relation to Teppen. Future content, things that are coming down the pipeline. I checked into these leaks and they look pretty legitimate. I'm not going to lie, so I'm inclined to believe them. However, I'm not going to be showing the leaks to you. I'm not going to be telling you what it is. I'm not going to tell you what I saw, and I'm not going to tell you where to get it. That just wouldn't be very cool of me, and I could get in a lot of trouble if I do. But I did want to springboard off of leaks into speculation, specifically on what could be coming for the future of Teppen. Now, no doubt, we're gonna get some sort of announcement of future content at the Teppen World Finals that's happening this month in December. And we're just a few weeks away from that. So here are the characters and franchises I think have the biggest chance to make a debut in Teppen. Let's get into it. First on my list is Virgil from Devil May Cry. I made this prediction earlier this year when I did my zero prediction video. Uh, Devil May Cry is a juggernaut right now for Capcom, especially after Devil May Cry 5 and the special edition which came out with the newest generation of consoles. And the biggest feature for the special edition of that game was playable Virgil. Virgil is a hype character. Uh, Devil May Cry fans have been uh, looking for any opportunity to play as him for years. In fact, whenever they go back and update the old games, uh, Devil May Cry 3, 4, and now 5, what did they add? Playable Virgil. Virgil was also a big player in Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, one of the most hype games on the planet. Uh, so it would make total sense that they would revisit Devil May Cry and pump a little bit of Virgil into this game. I think it's an inevitability. Virgil is way too popular, Devil May Cry is way too popular, and there's a lot that you can pull from from that franchise that they haven't even shown yet. And that's keeping in mind that the Devil's Awaken expansion, which came out in November, of 2019 that was all devil may cry centric but there's still so much more that they could pull from and virgil is definitely the guy to do it if they are looking for characters to build hype and to get people to you know revisit the game and buy some packs i think virgil is the best choice to make that happen the next one is a personal favorite of mine, and that is Strider Hiryu. He's been known to be a part of the Versus Capcom games for a long time. Uh, he's had some games over the years, including a remake within, I want to say, the last five years. I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, but Strider is a character that a lot of people love, especially me. He's got a lot of coolness factor. Uh, he was super popular, specifically for Marvel vs. Capcom 2, uh, and then when he returned in Ultimate and eventually into Infinite as well. Uh, Strider is kind of a weird situation because even though he's always viewed as a Capcom character, there are some licensing issues based on his creator and the relationship with Capcom. However, I don't really think that that would interfere in the case of Teppen because it seems the creator has been more than willing to have Strider participate in tons of Capcom projects over the years. I would love for Strider to be a part of this game. Now, his franchise isn't nearly as rich as some of the other ones that Capcom could pull from. If Strider were to make an appearance, they would have to pair his his franchise with something else that's got a little more history behind it that they can pull from kind of like how they paired up okami and sengoku basara for the most recent expansion that included amaterasu i really think that's the only avenue for strider to make it into the game however strider is fantastic he's a great character and oh my gosh i think that would probably be the most hype inclusion at least for me personally uh that could get added to teppen as a new hero if he just made it into the card uh that would be all right, I guess, but you know, my soul would be crushed a little bit. Let's talk about Phoenix Wright and Ace Attorney. This is a franchise that's been around for a long time and it's kind of in its own little niche in terms of the type of people that want to play these games, but they do tend to be very popular. They sell pretty decently. Uh, he's had some crossovers with Professor Layton. Uh, you know, Phoenix Wright's been around. He was even in Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Is a super wacky character that really functioned... Uh, in the most unique sense of that cast of characters. Uh, Phoenix could definitely work in Teppen, and in fact, uh, there are more Ace Attorney games uh, coming down the pipeline, so it would totally make sense that they would want to put Phoenix right in there, uh, kind of in the forefront, similar to how Feline uh, made the cut based on Monster Hunter's continued popularity. Uh, you know, Iceborne came out, and of course, future projects that are happening down the line. Uh, Phoenix Wright doesn't just have his own games. There's been other little spinoffs on other characters in that franchise. So there's definitely a well of, of history and rich characters that they could pull from. They could definitely make an expansion entirely based around the Ace Attorney series. 
In fact, way back when Teppen was first debuted, this is in July of 2019, uh, the folks who were on the stream with Gung Ho were talking about how Phoenix Wright would fit really well into this game. Uh, so it would make total sense that Phoenix would make the cut. You know, he's been somebody that I think has been talked about uh, since the game came out. A lot of people were predicting him to be the first new hero. Now that turned out to be Jill from Resident Evil, and that's fine. Uh, but Phoenix Wright is definitely a worthy candidate, and I wouldn't be surprised to see him announced in the near future. I feel like I have to talk about Darkstalkers because I think there will be some people who get upset if I don't. Uh, but let's be real here. Darkstalkers is not... Uh, the franchise juggernaut that it used to be. Uh, you know, Morgan has had a lot of experience in the Capcom crossover games uh, over the last 20 years, uh, even further back than that, now that I think about it. Uh, but Darkstalkers hasn't had a recent game in a long time. There were the re-releases uh, that I think came out within the last decade, uh, but nothing too substantial, even though one year at EVO, we did get that message of Darkstalkers are not dead. Uh, so let's say they are going to add another Darkstalker because Morgan is already there and the franchise rights are already secured. Uh, I think some of the easiest picks that they could make would possibly be Felicia, maybe Hashenko, or Jetta. I think any of those characters uh, could be the picks. Now, in terms of are they going to get picked over bigger franchises that are more current and making more dollars for Capcom? Probably not. That's just my opinion. Uh, but I do know that there are a lot of loyal Darkstalkers fans out there. And I think that uh, those three would definitely be the most likely to be included if Darkstalkers was the franchise they were going to update. Resident Evil is arguably the biggest franchise that Capcom has at its disposal, so it would make sense that this franchise would get yet another hero. Right now, we have Jill and we have Wesker. And total sense to see somebody else being added. Now, from all the promotional material that's related to Resident Evil 8, you would think that Chris would be the most likely inclusion. Uh, you know, Chris has been around since the franchise's inception many, many years ago. Uh, he's super popular. Now, even though we already have some Chris cards, uh, they could certainly take Chris and make him into the next hero and do a more updated Resident Evil style expansion. There are some other choices out there too, uh, like Leon or Claire, uh, but I think more than likely, I think Chris would be the one to be picked for Resident Evil. I think they would probably avoid most of the, uh, the monster situations and just go with a hero this time, an actual hero instead of a villain, uh, like with the situation with Wesker, even though that's kind of unclear uh, based off of what they've shown for Resident Evil 8. Either way, Chris is the most likely candidate from that franchise. So that's it. That's the list of who I think is the most likely to make the cut for Teppen's next hero. So I want to know what you think. Be sure to let me know down in the comments who you'd like to see come down the pipeline. I'm sure we don't have long to wait because Worlds is right around the corner. I love you guys. If you want me to continue doing Teppen content, the best way to let me know is to like this video and of course subscribe so you know when the next one comes out. I love you guys. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time.